With some of the best midfielders in the world now in their 30s, it is time for the new guard to get ready to take their place. Clubs have become smarter, investing in youth with a long-term project in mind. With the pandemic restricting the movement of various clubs in the transfer market, buying young players and focusing on the youth academy could prove to be the way ahead. 5 Best U25 Midfielders in the World Right Now Number 5. Dani Olmo, RB Leipzig A product of Barcelona's famed La Masia Academy, Dani Olmo has enjoyed an unorthodox rise in the game. Olmo left Barcelona in 2014 to join Croatian side Dinamo Zagreb in what was a surprising move. The midfielder's performances for the club attracted the attention of many top clubs, including Barcelona. However, he joined RB Leipzig in 2020 for a fee of £20 million. The 22-year-old has been utilized in a variety of midfield and forward positions by manager Julian Nagelsmann. A highly creative player who has been a consistent presence in the first 11, Olmo has made 29 appearances in the Bundesliga this season. The Spain international has scored four goals and provided eight assists, and there have been suggestions that Barcelona will try to bring him back. Number 4. Martin Odegaard. Arsenal, on loan from Real Madrid. Martin Odegaard has been in the spotlight since he was a teenager, with his performances for Strums Godset in Norway as a 15-year-old seeing big clubs in Europe try and sign him. Odegaard eventually joined Real Madrid in 2015 for a fee of £2.5 million. After limited chances with Los Blancos, the Norway international was sent out on loan to various clubs. Odegaard impressed with his performances for Vitesse and especially Real Sociedad, and looked ready to be a part of the Real Madrid first team when he returned to the club last summer. That was not the case. After struggling to get regular minutes, the 22-year-old joined Arsenal on loan in January this year and has been one of their best players, with his creativity crucial for the Gunners. An attacking midfielder, Odegaard is also the captain of the Norway national team. Number 3. Phil Foden. Manchester City. When Pep Guardiola showed reluctance during his early seasons as Manchester City manager to play Phil Foden on a regular basis, he was heavily criticized. Now, Foden is one of the best midfielders in world football and the 20-year-old looks set to enjoy a bright future in the game. A good passer, creative and versatile, Foden has been one of Manchester City's most important players this season. He has made 24 appearances in the Premier League this season, scoring 6 goals and providing 5 assists. The England international is a product of the Manchester City Academy, which has immediately endeared him to the club's fans. The Stockport Iniesta looks like a superstar in the making. Number 2. Mason Mount, Chelsea. Mason Mount divided opinion during the start of his Chelsea career, but the fact that all his managers tend to start him on a consistent basis speaks volumes about his ability. Capable of operating in multiple positions, Mount is a hard-working footballer who manages to contribute both defensively and offensively. The England international is a very important asset to Chelsea, and manager Thomas Tuchel looks to be a fan of the player, just like former Chelsea manager Frank Lampard and England boss Gareth Southgate. The 22-year-old is slowly getting the recognition he deserves. In the Premier League this season, Mount has made 30 appearances, scoring 6 goals and providing 4 assists. Number 1. Frenkie de Jong. Barcelona. Frenkie de Jong is a quintessential Dutch midfielder who Johan Cruyff would have been proud of. De Jong enjoyed a sensational 2018-19 season with Ajax, where his dribbling ability and congested midfield, his passing and his tactical intelligence won applause. Capable of playing as a CDM, the Netherlands international often dropped deep to dictate play. His performances for Ajax earned a £77 million move to Barcelona in 2019. After a quiet first season, the 23-year-old has produced some stellar performances this time around. De Jong has the talent to become the best midfielder in world football. Right!